the moment, I didn't hate it. Kyle Shanahan seemed to have good rationale for it. Like, it's, right. not, a, it's not the reason why they lost, yeah. but it is those little edges that you give up. It is a reason why yeah. I would have lost. never given Patrick Mahomes four downs mm-hmm. in Andy Reid. That's what you do. Right. When you take it first, you give Mahomes four downs. To your point, they had it. Yeah, I think when you when you hear why he did what he did, again, it made sense. I, I was the same way when they first did Where it. Did he I, say- What's happening, sports fans? Welcome back for another video. I am your host, Johnny Gaz. Thank you for coming back again. We are coming off an historic Super Bowl, Super Bowl 58, featuring the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. Of course, as we know now, the Kansas City Chiefs are victorious, back-to-back Super Bowls for the first time since the New England Patriots in 03-04. Patrick Mahomes winning MVP again, establishing himself as the Michael Jordan of the NFL. He was just fantastic towards the end of the game and into overtime. He's the reason why the Chiefs won that Super Bowl. Definitely go back and take a look at my reaction video we just put out after Super Bowl 58. And again, Patrick Mahomes was just everything at the end of that game. And the Kansas City Chiefs prevail. Can't say enough about Andy Reid, the Chiefs organization. They have solidified themselves as the dynasty, the the team you now want to hate more than anybody else, right? That's what you're always striving to be. Uh, And they have solidified themselves now with three Super Bowls in five years. You know, it just, things are looking up for Kansas City. And Sam, uh, you know, coming off of this win, you know, things are only looking up. Their defense was really fantastic. Patrick Mahomes, of course, we've talked about him in so much detail. Um, So again, congratulations, Kansas City winning the Super Bowl. And let's not, let's not overlook that as we head through the rest of this video. As with any Super Bowl, there is a winner and there is a loser. And unfortunately, I think in this game, San Francisco just leaves with a sour taste in their mouth. They had an opportunity. They had a chance. They had a 10-point lead. And unfortunately, Kyle Shanahan knows this better than most coaches in the NFL. He has lost Super Bowls. He has lost leads in Super Bowls. And it held true here in Super Bowl 58. So I've come up with three reasons why the San Francisco 49ers lost Super Bowl 58. Number one, I think their stars unfortunately did not come up and live up to their capabilities. They had a lot of stars all over this field that just did not play up to their potential. Number two, I think the offense stalled. I think in the second quarter and especially several drives into the second half, They stopped running the football. They stopped being aggressive up front in the offensive line and controlling the game. And that really stalled everything for the San Francisco 49ers. Number three, I don't think they handled the overtime situation very well. I think the lack of experience really shined heavy here. Andy Reid, the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, they handled those big moments. The San Francisco 49ers, unfortunately, did not. So one of the three biggest reasons the San Francisco 49ers lost Super Bowl 58. Their stars just did not come up big enough in this biggest moment. We're looking at the stats here from Super Bowl 58. Of course, we know the Kansas City Chiefs prevailed 25-22. We're going to focus on a few things here. I think number one, let's look at San Francisco's rushing. Christian McCaffrey, 22 carries, 80 yards on a 3.6 average. He only had an 11-yard long. San Francisco started this game really hot up front and on the ground. They looked like they were controlling the line of scrimmage, not only on defense, but especially on offense. Christian McCaffrey started off the game very well. Again, they probably were heading to scoring a touchdown if he doesn't fumble that football. I think from that point forward, they just were not the same team on the ground throughout the second quarter and especially into the second half. They did not run the football like they did when they started the game. Now, that did start to pick up. In, uh, in overtime, in their possession in overtime, they finally got back to that. But I think they lost that too early on in the game. And it shows here. He only averaged 3.6 yards per carry and only an 11-yard long. So he just didn't have, I think, enough opportunities. Even at 22 carries, I really think there were more, more chances there. They should have given him the ball more. Let's now take a look at San Francisco's receiving numbers. Christian McCaffrey also led them in receptions. So, you know, it tells me that guys like... Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, they just didn't get enough opportunities. They didn't come up big enough in the biggest moments. Now, that also could speak to Kansas City's defense, right? Kansas City's defense was really good in this game. Their secondary especially. 
Uh, I was watching the highlights there, and there were several moments where you see guys like McDuffie in the backfield. We know Sneed in the Kansas City uh, defensive backfield. A lot of depth there, and they really blanketed the wide receivers, and it reflects in these numbers here. Debo Samuel, three receptions, 33 yards. You know, just not enough. Brandon Ayuk, three receptions, 49 yards. Neither of them had a score. So, unfortunately, that just it wasn't enough out of their big-time players. Now, let's talk defensively. You know, they did have three sacks in this game, and I think early on the defensive line had established themselves. And really, overall, I wouldn't say the San Francisco defense played terrible. The problem is, in the biggest moments, they, they shriveled up. That defensive line was not able to get home, especially on Patrick Mahomes, late in the fourth quarter in overtime to really win them the football game. You, you rely on guys like Nick Bosa, and you picked up a guy like, uh, like Chase from Washington, you know, you pick that guy up so you would have sacks. You would get be able to get to the quarterback and make the biggest difference in the biggest moments. And Chase Young, Nick Bosa, Fred Warner, other guys on that team, although they played okay overall, just didn't make the necessary plays in the biggest moments to win them Super Bowl 58. Reason number two why San Francisco lost Super Bowl 58. I think their offense stalled, especially coming out of the second half. They had a lead. They were up 10-0 at one point. They came out of the half up 10-3. to They even put themselves in a situation where they got a stop. They got the interception off of Kansas City on their first drive coming out of the half. This is where I think San Francisco unfortunately went wrong in Super Bowl 58. If you see here, the next three possessions for San Francisco, punt, three plays, minus one yard, 59 seconds. Next possession, three plays, minus one yard, one minute, 43 seconds, ends in a punt. Third possession, three plays, zero yards, one minute, two seconds, also ends in a punt. Punt, 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 three plays each possession. Neither of them lasting more than two minutes. You don't win Super Bowls that way. You just cannot win Super Bowls that way. That was your opportunity, among many others, to establish yourself offensively in this game, to put yourself up front enough to where all you have to do now is contain. They didn't do that, and these three possessions here, the Kyle Shanahan view of the offense on those three possessions was not good enough. If you really want to focus in and look at this possession in detail, here's the first one coming out after getting the interception off Mahomes. Brock Purdy pass incomplete short right. Brock Purdy pass incomplete short left. Brock Purdy scrambles left end for four yards, punt, okay? That was one possession. McCaffrey doesn't even get an opportunity. Second possession, Brock Purdy pass short right. Brock Purdy pass short left. That one did go to McCaffrey. Brock Purdy pass incomplete, deep left, punt, okay? Third possession, McCaffrey up the middle for no gain. Okay, they do finally give him the ball. It's not successful on first down, so what do they do? Brock Purdy pass incomplete short left. Brock Purdy pass deep middle incomplete. Punt. Right there, unfortunately, I think is where it shows the offense shriveled up. They did not do enough to win Super Bowl 58. And reason number three why San Francisco lost Super Bowl 58. Unfortunately, although Kyle Shanahan has been to the promised land many times, I don't think that his team was prepared enough for Super Bowl 58, and it showed in many factors throughout this game. I'll shine it on one, and that's as we enter the overtime session. It was clear through interviews at the end of the game that the 49ers were not coached on the new overtime rules in the Super Bowl. Each team is granted an opportunity at a possession now in overtime. So as San Francisco wins the coin toss, they decide to take the ball. In a lot of situations like that, let's flash back to, let's say, college football and get up in the uh, video that we started this with indicated that same thing, that in college football, in most cases, you want to defer or have the other team take the ball so that you know what you're up against, so that it gives you an extra down to play with, essentially, as you look to tie or win the game. It also gives you an opportunity to go for two points 
if you score a touchdown and decide, well, I want to win it right now. I, again, through interviews at the end of the game, it was clear that San Francisco players were not truly aware of that. And then again, they took the ball in winning the coin toss in the overtime. We know they get a field goal. We know Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs drives down the field and ultimately score a touchdown and win the game. If they don't take the ball, things go differently? We don't know. The bottom line is they had a 10-point lead. They had the lead at halftime. Kyle Shanahan has been in this situation before. Andy Reid, the Chiefs, Patrick Holmes have also been in that situation before, and they handled it better in Super Bowl 58. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video, why the San Francisco 49ers lost Super Bowl 58. You know, unfortunately, sometimes in life, you have to fall down to get back up. The 49ers have now fallen down a few times. I only say that not to be funny, but because I would love for my team to at some point get to that point. Now, I hope they don't lose two Super Bowls like that, but at least they've gotten to that place. But today, we've described three reasons why the San Francisco 49ers lost Super Bowl 58. Thank you for coming along with me today. Again, I am Johnny Gaz. Make sure to check out Johnny Gaz Sports on YouTube. Like this video if you like what you saw here today. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the latest content. Thank you for coming along. I hope you guys have a fantastic day.